Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. This video I will show you how to send an alarm message uh, from the A4 board. Send it to your mobile phone, WhatsApp application. You can see this is a WhatsApp, not need to use the King Kong smart home application. So you can see like this, this is RF a wireless sensor. This is a door sensor, we can triangle. And you will see this is a message alert. Uh, someone opened the door. So this message is this A4 board used by the ESP32 and detect the wireless sensor message sent to the receive wireless receive module and the signal will uh, send by the network and send to your mobile phone. So this will not without Kingonis call server and just uh, use the alarm message sensor and send by the WhatsApp. Uh, you can see the WhatsApp is a number and uh, this is a robot. Uh, the robot will send the message to your mobile phone. Uh, the message will send to your mobile phone maybe have some delay uh, that is according to the server of the provide and the network. Okay, let's look at how to do with it. Uh, you can get the sensor information and send the information uh, to your mobile phone by WhatsApp. At the first, we need to prepare the hardware you can see this is the A4 board and this is the power supply and this is USB cable for communication and you will install this wireless module this module you can use uh, 433 megahertz or you can use 315 megahertz it's up, up to you uh, so we have not installed at the full configuration so you can install by yourself uh, just insert to this socket and uh, weld it. Okay, let's weld this module. This, this is the receive module. You can see uh, this board we have installed and uh, welding this pin, three pin. You can use this. Okay, now we can install the receive module. If you want to long distance, uh, you can also, uh, there is a hole, you can uh, wind an antenna, uh, because I have used in my in my room, uh, it's not enough, it's enough to use, so I'm not, I'm not installed the antenna. So we can just uh, try again. Now we can install the USB cable and the well watch. Okay, let's look at the computer. Uh, this is our form and we have this 25 lessons on how to send the message by WhatsApp by A4 or A8 board. And uh, this is almost uh, five step uh, for the WhatsApp. So the first we need to set by the WhatsApp. The first you can add this number. This is the robot of WhatsApp. You just uh, save to your phone contact. You can see I have already named the robot. Uh, this robot is uh, 34644565518. Uh, uh, just uh, this name, this number we have saved as case 868A4. So we can just, uh, you can see this is online. And the second, you just send a message. Uh, I allow call robot to send me message. Uh, just this stream. Uh, you can copy from the web page and send to your mobile phone. Uh, you can see my mobile phone have already sent this information. Uh, this information I have sent. After you send, uh, the robot will feedback. Uh, you can see the robot feedback. Uh, your API key is three five four zero nine four. Uh, this we will use at our Arduino code. So you save this uh, number. And this is the feedback, your API key. And the fourth, the WhatsApp message. Uh, you can send the API, uh, just this is the API. This is API stream for you, only for you to send the message. You can see uh, this is when we send this message and we'll feedback uh, this one. And you can use this stream. This string is a HTTP command, so that you can tell the robot to send a message. Uh, send it to where? This is mobile phone number. 
and the test is send the uh, learned information and this API key is your API key just uh, copy this one so this consistent with this uh, details you can see this uh, it's very easy just you need to fill the phone number and the text alarm message and the API key the three items and the file is enjoy by yourself and now we just can see uh, uh, skip this uh, we can see uh, the mobile phone have received the uh, three items now we can prepare the hardware for IF receive module this sensor just we have running this uh, receive module and prepared this door sensor and if you have used the remote also no problem uh, you can use any wireless sensor uh, for this receive module and also you can use this uh, wireless sensor you can see this is also a door sensor but uh, this is have a line uh, this is a dry contact output signal so you can connect to you can connect to this uh, part uh, for digital input it's also no problem it's up to you so th this video i will take example for you use the wireless remote and the wireless sensor for decode and send the alert message to your mobile phone and now we just need to prepare the arduino ide you just install this library and i will tell you how to install and uh, the source code uh, you can download from this zip file we have write the code uh, after you download you will see this zip file you just need to unzip and open this file and uh, you will see uh, this code uh, this code we have t uh, we have said uh, you need to install this rc switch library online so you can click a uh, scratch and uh, manage library and the input rc switch and you can search uh, this rc switch you will see this item the rc switch means r is remote c is control so this is remote control switch uh, so we can call this rc switch you can install online click this button and this i have installed so i can click close and in this code uh, there is not much program code uh, just you can see some information you need to replace uh, this SISID you need to change for your load uh, by yourself this is Kinkonis and the password change to your Lord's uh, password uh, and this is phone number uh, this is my number you change to your number and this is the sensor address uh, this is a number uh, how to get this number I will tell you because I have detected the door sensor this is the sensor address so after you co uh, complain the software and to use this program first you need to know uh, the address this signal address and if you have this 16 channel button you need to know every button the signal address the sensor address so you can download this code to your A4 board and to the ESP32 module wait for a moment because we can use the third part output to see this uh, error code of the button and of the sensor ok now begin download now begin running and we can tools enable the server monitor and I can press the button for reset and you can see uh, this module have connected to Wi-Fi and connected to a Wi-Fi network this is successfully and now you can uh, triangle this door sensor you can see I can triangle and this is the output the wireless code uh, this is the sensor address so you can see this I have used this door sensor is this address uh, just copy to copy to this please Uh, maybe have changed uh, I can copy and uh, paste just uh, what signal you need to control and uh, input this code and uh, you can see I can use this remote I can press button 1 uh, you can see this is the code uh, for this button 1 and I press button 2 uh, you can see uh, this is a code for the button 2 and the button 3 and the button 4 and the button 6 uh, 5 and the button 6 so every button 
have a different code. You just input this code uh, for compare. So we can send the alarm message. Uh, this is the message we, we need to send. So you can change uh, alarm, alert, uh, someone open the door, or you have used the smoking, or maybe your dog have smoke, and you can change this test uh, for send the alert message uh, to your mobile phone by WhatsApp. So it's very easy to use. Uh, there are some many code you not need to see, uh, such as this, just uh, use the code convert uh, this function. You just need to set, uh, at the first, you need to set this IO pin. This is for RF receive pin, because we have used the wireless receive module. And you can see our diagram, we have used the uh, 433 megahertz receive at this IO19. So we have used this one. If you have used another pin for ESP module, you just input your pin number to your to this place. And this is 19, and just change the SSID and the password and the API key and the phone number and the sensor address. So you can use your sensor triangle and send the message to your mobile phone by WhatsApp. So this is how to get the sensor information and the sensor track to send the alarm message to your mobile phone. Okay, thanks for watching.